the first thing we should always do is make sure we have our labels that are appropriate for this triangle. So if our hypotenuse is K, our adjacent side to our angle, our angle is 53 degrees, our adjacent side is 45, our opposite side to the angle that we're looking at, or that 53 degrees, is, is the one that's unnamed. So we have to determine what size or what length the hypotenuse is. And since we know the formula that cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, we can use that, the cosine ratio, to de determine the value of k or the length of k. So if I grab my pen, we know that the, start filling in what we know, the cosine of 53 degrees is equal to the adjacent side, we know that, which is 45. And the hypotenuse is our unknown. That's our variable, k. Now, in this case, since the variable is k and it's the hypotenuse and it's in the denominator of the fraction, we have to do a little bit of algebra here. So what we do is do some cross multiplication to bring the, the side k up. So we're going to end up with k multiplied by the cosine of 53 equals, and we know that that cosine is over 1, so we have 45 multiplied by 1. Now, the question that I have to you is, is our unknown, our variable, isolated? No. The answer, the answer is no. So what we have to do is we have to isolate our variable. And what we do is rewrite the equation. Now, how do we get rid of that multiplied by cos 53? We divide by cos 53 degrees. I keep forgetting my degrees. But what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we have to divide this side of the equation by the cosine of 53. The cosines on the left, cosine of 53 on the left, cancel out, which means we've isolated the variable. So k is 45 divided by the cosine of 53 degrees. And when we work that out using our calculator, we should get 74 and 77 hundredths is the measurement of the hypotenuse in this particular case.